Greetings. I'm Geo Fatboy from Shave Nation Shaving Supplies, ShaveNation.com. Yesterday you saw me perform the ice bucket challenge to benefit ALS and today I'm going to do as I said in the video yesterday I'm going to perform a shave after putting my face in a bucket of ice water. So this is going to be for you minimalist types of wet shaving fans and uh, what I'll use is a bucket of ice water so that's cold water if you don't have access to hot water you'll use the cold water and this is just going to be a quick shave a one pass shave I've got a pretty good growth on my beard today a couple days so we're going to see how quickly we can remove it and the razors I'm using are two of the most popular razors in the world today number one the Merker HD 34C number two the Edwin Jagger DE89 many of you have these two razors in your shaving repertoire or your rotation and uh, so you're familiar with them and I just want to do this to show the benefits of shaving with cold water about a week ago I went for a uh, run outside I ran over to the football field it was about 90 degrees and I did my exercising did my laps did my routine and then I came back home hopped in the shower took a hot shower like I normally do and then finished it off cold and then I hopped out went to perform my shave and I put hot water on my face it's like the last thing I wanted at that point in time I felt like I was going to pass out. So I said, heck with this, I'm going to try cold water shaving. I know there's a lot of talk on the shaving forums, and uh, a lot of people are just interested in it. So I thought I would do a shave with the cold water and show it to you. And uh, I've done it several times from that day up until this day, and I've been very happy with the results. Without further ado, let's get started. Yesterday I was able to use the 5-gallon bucket and pour that over my head in a bucket filled with ice. Today I'm going to use this bowl. It's a li little bit easier to deal with and uh, it's a little bit more of long so I can get my face into it. So <laughs> here we go. I'm going to put my face in this bowl and as soon as I take it out I'm going to lather up and we're going to get this shave on and see what happens. Here we go. It's cold. One more time. Okay, well that feels good. That's cold. One more time. Okay, that's about it. <laughs> my face is frigid right now. Whew. Okay, so here's my lather. Many of you have used this one as well. This is Prorasso. I've mixed it up just to save time in my Geo Bowl. And you can see it's a very nice thick lather. Here we go. I don't want to waste any time. I want to keep it cold. Do a little figure eight pattern. And just get a nice coating. Get that little snowman effect going. It's nice and chilly and this shaving cream is menthol eucalyptus so it's also got a chilling effect to it. Here we go. Okay, looking good. Just rinsing my hands. Clear the runways. I'll do the right side with the Marker HD 34C. Don't know if you can hear that, but someone's calling on the phone. Can't answer the phone right now, sorry. I'm in a shaving video. Just one pass with the grain, like so. Quick rinse. I've always been one who follows the motto of do what you can with what you have where you are. So here we go.
already. That's one side with the Merker HD. And you can see from the cold water shape, it's nice and clean. Now we'll try the Edwin Jagger DE89. Give that a go. Just temper it under the cold water as well. And I'll do the left side with that razor. If you suffer from irritation, single bladed razor like this, where only one blade contacts the skin, will help you a lot. That's it, one pass and quite clean. I'll just clean up under my nose a bit. And around the mouth. Just a little cleanup. So that's the cold water shave, just a one pass shave, gone from a few days growth to very clean. I'll finish off with my Shave Nation Allen Block, just uh, run it under the cold water and then just glide that about my face. Also very refreshing as well. <laughs> Someone made a comment the other day, it was on YouTube or Facebook, I can't remember. They said, I like the taste of my alum block. Is there anything wrong with that? Well, <laughs> it tastes a little funny to me. I don't think I'd make a habit out of tasting it. Might not be a good idea. But whatever you're into, it's fine. Alright, so I'll just let that sit for about 30 seconds and then take that off. Back to my uh, original point, the cold water, it seems to stiffen the beard and the skin. And uh, you'll be surprised that the razor, it still mows right through like nothing, as you can see. And uh, the, another important thing you want to remember is, don't, if you're doing the cold water shave, don't try to stretch the life of your blade. Use a new blade, make sure it's sharp. Uh, I did use a feather blade in each razor, the 34C and the DE89. And it's important that the blade be sharp. And you'll see that it will just mow through your beard just as, as quickly and easily as it does with hot water. Which I was very surprised that it did. I thought it would be more of a problem. But as you can see with just one pass, it did quite well. It's very invigorating. First thing in the morning, a cold water shave really is a wake-up call for you. And as I said before, if you live in warm climates or after exercise, you last thing you want to do is put hot water on your face. So... Try the cold water shave, you might just like it. And those of you who have acne, sensitive skin, you'll also benefit from it because what hot water does, it brings the blood to the surface of your face. Some people say it opens the pores, that's a debatable topic. Uh, you will notice using the cold water shave that there's less of a chance that you're going to get irritation and less of a chance that you're going to nick and cut yourself. It seems to me that it thickens up the skin and just enables that blade to glide right over it quickly and easily. So give it a shot. See if you like it. I mean, the worst you can do is try it once, and if you don't like it, don't do it again. It's also said that it prolongs the life of the blade using cold water as opposed to hot water. And one pass may be all you need, depending on the, how heavy your beard is at that point in time. What I will do is put a link up here for the uh, ice bucket challenge that I did. You can check that one out. So just to summarize, cold water shaving, it saves time. Prolongs the blade life, no brush, no bowl, no problem. You can still lather it up and use it by hand. Uh, it prevents irritation, and it's much more comfortable in hot weather climates or after exercising. Also, if you suffer from acne or irritation, give it a try. You'll probably like it. For a real refreshing finish to your shave, when you're all done, you can try it one more time. There you go.
go. That's refreshing. Some gents will go as far as putting a cold wet towel in the refrigerator or the freezer and then after your shave applying that to your face as well. That's a nice cold refreshing cold chill finish to your shave. I'm Geo Fatboy for Shave Nation Shaving Supplies, ShaveNation.com. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button up there. Support my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great shave. Have a great day.